So we have here a very interesting machine which is going round and round and uh, this is Andreas who doesn't work for the German railway system apparently and he's going to say uh, what's it used for? Andreas, what's this? Is this a machine which one will come along, put some money in and it will go round and round in the railway station? No it is not. No it isn't. It because has a serious purpose. Okay, very good. It is uh, Microglyph is a new kind of coding system. So um, what you actually can do, just like with the barcode or with the data matrix code, you can put it information mm -hmm. in a package, in the front page of a package, without the customer even noticing there is a code hidden. So we have so here uh, this product and there's a code in it. Exactly, there are six codes hidden. There's six codes, six and codes uh, hidden. Well, I'll tell you what we've got here. Um, we've got here uh, uh, Martin, and Martin, do you work for this company? Yes, um, we, oh, are so we, are so the, you we are the partner together, so um, the inventor is the company Microglyph and we as Hotamaki oh. are the company realizing it in prints. So oh. what you can see here, we realized in Rotogravure print, the well, six co codes are hidden. So, so you I know where the codes are hidden? I know it is hidden, I point you on one of the easiest one to find. Well, I've got the camera quite close, uh, um, I can't see anything. Okay, very good. I can see a cow. Is the cow the code? The cow is not the code, but right, it's, it's okay. hiding three codes around the cow. Right, that's, well, that's very clever. So we've got no codes here. We've got no barcodes, which we've come exactly. traditionally used to. Now, what is the point of this? Though? I can see the point of a barcode. What is the point of, a, of this? Okay, the point is the consumer doesn't see the code. Yep. This is most important. And you can read it very reliably. And yep. you can use it in this... Uh, with this kind of machinery, you can use it for uh, production control. This is yeah. uh, the actual purpose. So it's, it's better than uh, the, the barcode uh, that we've been using, which is what? It's about what? Uh, what two and a half, three square centimeters, uh, maybe something like that big. Yes. This is a tiny one. We can't see it. Does it exactly. being tiny mean to say that we is more risk of accident? I'm, I'm, I'm sure a barcode person could look at a barcode and say that this barcode's wrong. I, I'm sure. Um, I don't know. I mean. Uh, no, not, not necessarily. Um, I mean, you need for a barcode as well as for the microglyph, you need a machine to read it. Yeah. It's a machine-readable symbology. Yeah. So um, let me explain what the actual purpose is. We have the, the, most, uh, uh, the milker here. Yeah. The milker tablets. Hey, it was this you who took the milker bars yesterday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's the so best flavor as well, actually. Yes, it's an yeah. excellent flavor. Yes. Um, uh, what uh, this is Kraft Foods, the yes, producer yes. of milk chocolate Kraft Foods. Yeah. And they are using uh, microglyph. They yeah. have marked the microglyph here on the side of the chocolate bar. Right. right. You can, can, see can, can you see? I can't see that, but I'm, I haven't got my glasses on. That might be That's the, reason uh, the purpose. You should not see it. <laughs> 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 I'm just about to see the milk bar actually. <laughs> but, right. Um, right. You right. have it here. Okay. In this area. Yeah. And um, I can show you the box. Yeah. We have a box going around in circles here. Yeah. And we have a lot of ch uh, chocolate bars. Yeah. And we have uh, all the microglyph codes here. And we have one wrong flavor here in the yeah. box. So it's a mixed flavor. Yeah. And this should be prevented. This is not a case yes, that uh, yes, yes, yes. Kraft Foods likes. They want a package only with one flavor. Yeah. So um, I put this right. here on the, right. on the slide. It goes underneath. It goes there. And here we have the according image. Yeah. So you can see we have uh, a lot of good codes and a lot of good chocolate bars. Yeah. And the one which was wrong can be rejected. But how is it now going to be rejected? Or is that an additional piece of machinery which was actually rejected? So uh, in this machinery, we don't have a rejection uh, yeah. uh, um, device Module. here. Yes. But in the production environment, they have that. Of yes, yes, so yes. Um, this is one of the purposes. So we are controlling, or Kraft Foods is controlling with the microglyph that we have a correct package. Yes. The number is correct, so we can also count here. We can yeah. count the codes and uh, we can find out it's the wrong package. And uh, you might see here the small numbers yes. underneath the code. And this tells us the code quality. Yeah. What if one was taken out? Does it uh, give a warning? Yes, I take two out. Yeah, yeah we'll eat them later. Yeah. I take two out, we yeah. wait until it passes the camera. Yeah, yeah. OK. There you go. Now yeah. watch yeah. the image. And now it tells us here codes missing. Yes. On top, and all the codes are marked red. Yes. So we also can reject the box. Yes. So we count it, we control that uh, the flavor is correct. And there's a third purpose which is very important for Kraft Foods. You might see here the small numbers. Yes. And these small numbers give us the code quality. Yes. So what this tells us, if uh, the package has not uh, properly aligned. Yes. So 
this Milka logo on the side yeah. can move to the front side or to the back side. Yeah. So when this happens, this is uh, not desired, of course. Yes. Uh, it has several uh, bad uh, things that can happen. For example, this um, uh, package is glued. You have a glue yeah. here. Yeah. And if the package is wrong aligned, the glue does not work. So the package That's can good. be open. No, that is really very, very yeah. So this is a form of tamper uh, protection anyway. Exactly. Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, no, I think it's contamination protection more. Point contamination yeah, yeah, and that, that, uh, yeah. also for user acceptance. If uh, the Milka logo is not visible and you see that in the store, mm -hmm. and the Milka logo is not visible, they just don't like that. The marketing yes. uh, does not like that. So um, what the code can do, what you see here, mm -hmm. we have uh, small numbers and we have, for example, 58 percent here. Yeah. And this tells us. It has moved sideways. You can see the Milka logo wow, has moved sideways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 58% is uh, just about acceptable. For, uh, 45 is not acceptable. So yes. Again, we can reject the box. It's 50% there, 8% there, and uh, yeah, and 45% there is, is too small. Yeah, it's too yeah, small. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That, I mean, that is really that's, that's, uh, that is really very clever. So, how was this done before? This is all done manually. You mean uh, the marking? Yes, I was not at all. Um, no, in this case, the marking has been uh, integrated in the design. Yes. So, um, in the design phase, you integrate the code, mm -hmm. and you have a particular code for every flavor and for yes. every country. Yes. We call it cluster. Yes. The combination is a cluster. So, um, whenever a new cluster arises, mm -hmm. we create a new number, a new code, and this is integrated in the artwork. Yes. And then printed. So it's printed in gravure printing technology. And then will be no, uh, there's no longer any any call putting um, these old codes on things at all now. The barcodes. Uh, the barcodes have a different purpose. They are still the on here. Yeah. And this is uh, readable in the retail yes. situation. So uh, you read it on the cash desk, for example. Yeah. And this is still necessary because. Uh, when we remove the barcode, everybody yeah. in all stores would need to read the microglyph, and this and is they not, haven't got the equipment. Yeah, not yet available. Yes, we are yeah. working on that. Yeah, so uh, that's that's just a question of time or money, exactly. I suppose. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. so you understood hopefully the yeah. uh, the three purposes. Yes, uh, I understood it, but I do think we ought to uh, get a coin slot on this and then stick it in the station to make some money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, I do.